Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to add a new tree domain in existing Active Directory forest. In Active Directory domain services, when deciding to create an additional domain, you need to access whether the new domain can fit within the existing naming hierarchy or if a completely new name is required. For instance, you might need a new name in cases such as a merger or acquisition where two companies combine. Let's create a scenario where we use MSFT Webcast as our existing domain structure MSFT Webcast has merged with my taste lab and we will now be part of the same forest. For my taste lab, we want to deploy a new domain with a separate DNS namespace from our root domain. We can achieve this by deploying a new tree domain for my taste lab in our existing Active Directory forest. So let's see the steps on how we can do that. First, let's understand the taste lab we will use in this video. As of now, we have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. Currently, this domain controller holds all 5 FSMO roles for the msftwebcast.com domain. This domain controller is also a global catalog server. The FQDN of this Windows Server 2022 is srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command ipconfig slash all and hit enter key. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50 and a subnet mask of 255.255.252.0. Check the default gateway's IP address. 127.0.0.1 is currently set as a preferred DNS server's address. For this video, we are going to create an Active Directory infrastructure with two remote physical sites. First site at Surat location and second site at Mumbai location. In the real world, you need to have a WAN link to connect your two physical sites. To create a setup for two physical locations with different IP networks, we will create two different IP networks so that they cannot communicate with each other directly. We have two more newly installed Windows Server 2022 VMs in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Let's go to Router VM. We are using this Windows Server 2022 VM to function as a router and provide communication between two different networks. In production environment, you may have a WAN link, site-to-site -site VPN with Windows Server or professional VPN equipment to connect your remote sites securely. The preferred option is to use WAN link to connect your two physical sites. We have two network adapters on this VM with the name Mumbai NW and Surat NW. Surat NW network has Surat network IP address 172.18.72.1 and Mumbai NW network has Mumbai network IP address 172.31.72.1. The subnet mask for both adapter is 255.255.252.0. We have modified the value of IP Enable Router from 0 to 1. 1 to enable IP forwarding and 0 to disable it. So we have enabled IP forwarding on this Windows Server 2022 to allow communication between two different networks. We have also created a firewall rule to allow ping. Our both networks can communicate with each other using this VM. Go back to SRT22-DC01VM. We must create and configure Active Directory sites with their associated subnets. Let's go to Active Directory Sites and Services. I have already created a site for Surat location. As we can see, under Surat root site, a domain controller SRT22-DC01 is stored. Let's create a new Active Directory site for tree domain. 
right click on sites and select new site type in the name of the new active directory site i have given name mumbai tree to create a new ad site you must select the associated site link a site link is used to manage the logical flow of a replication between two physical sites active directory sites are manually linked to each other using site links we will select default ip site link for our active directory site site has been created but we also need to create the associated subnet click okay in our lab setup mumbai network subnet is 172.31.72.0/22 right click on subnets and select new subnet in prefix type the ip version for subnet prefix which is 172.31.72.0/22 select mumbai tree site and click okay we have created active directory site and subnet for new tree domain let's go to third windows server 2022 vm let's set up ip addressing on this server open ethernet network adapted properties select ip version 4 assign ip address 172.31.72.50 with subnet mask 255.255.252.0 enter 172.31.72.1 as a default gateway's ip address we have to specify the root dc's ip address as preferred dns server's address Enter 172.1872.50 and click OK. Click OK again. Click on Yes and let's close network connections window. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type ping msftwebcast.com and hit Enter key. After looking at replies, we can confirm that this VM can communicate with root domain. and dns name resolution is also working we can now begin the tree domain deployment let's install active directory domain services on this server using windows powershell type cmd delete install hyper windows feature hyper name ad domain services comma dns have an include management tools hit enter key to run the cmd delete this command install the adds and dns server role and also install the adds and adlds server administration tools on this server keep in mind that there is no reboot required for installing active directory domain services on windows server 2022 the installation of adds service has been completed go back to server manager dashboard and refresh the dashboard and you will see a yellow notification icon on server manager click on yellow notification icon click the link labeled promote this server to a domain controller the active directory domain services configuration wizard starts with the deployment configuration page choose add a new domain to an existing forest option from the select domain type select tree domain provide forest name which is msftwebcast.com in our example a new domain name you have to enter the new tree domain's dns name in this example it is mytislab.com now enter credentials of an account which is part of enterprise admin group click on change in this example it will administrator at msaptivebcast.com now type user's password and click okay click next when you are done this will only take a few seconds before we can continue now we are on domain controller options page let's wait for a few more seconds first we have to select the domain functional level i'll keep it to default which is windows server 2016 keep the rest of the options as default while making sure the options for domain name system server and global catalog are checked The Mumbai Tree Active Directory site is selected automatically based on the IP address of this server. Now provide directory services restore more password and click next. Ignore the DNS delegation warning and click next.
click next again click next click next to perform prerequisites check it need to be validated before active directory domain services is installed and configured on this server computer all good we can continue with the deployment process click install and wait for the configuration to finish this may take several minutes to complete once the configuration is complete the server will automatically reboot after reboot we can log in with our tree domain admin account and start managing the new tree domain in our existing active directory domain after waiting for around 6 minutes finally we reached on login screen sign in to this server computer using the tree domains administrator account this server is now successfully added as an domain controller for new tree domain in our existing active directory domain upon login server manager dashboard opens automatically open run menu type ncpa.cpl and hit enter key to open network connections right click the ethernet adapter and select properties double click on internet protocol version 4 Preferred DNS server's address is 127.0.0.1. This is the loopback IP address. And alternate DNS server's address is 172.18.72.50, which is the IP address of root domain's DNS server. So there is no need to change anything on this server. Click OK. Again, click OK and close network connections. Right-click on Start menu. and select windows powershell admin type ping msaptwebcast.com and hit enter key we are getting replies back from the ip address that means dns is successfully able to resolve the ip address from the given domain name go back to srt22 hyphen dc01 open run menu type ncpa.cpl and hit enter key right click on ethernet adapter and select properties double click on ip version 4 preferred dns server's address is there we just need to configure alternate dns server's address in alternate dns server's address i'm going to specify the tree domains dns server's ip address which is 172.31.72.50 click okay again click okay and close the network connections window This will enable successful DNS name resolution in both domains. Let's confirm that. Go back to Windows PowerShell and type command ping mytestlab.com and hit enter key. Perfect. We are getting replies back from the IP address 172.31.72.50. You can also configure conditional DNS forwarders in DNS servers for DNS name resolution. Go back to Tree Domains Domain Controller. Next, we want to check the status of Active Directory application between these two domain controllers. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand Sites, Expand Mumbai Tree Site, and Expand Servers. Expand Mum TDC zero one and click on NTDS Settings. Right click NDDS settings all task and select check replication topology click okay right click and select refresh we have one automatically generated replication link right click on this automatically generated replication link from dc01 to tdc01 and select replicate now We get the confirmation message that ADDS will attempt to replicate across this connections. Click OK. So replication has been initiated successfully. We want to check the same replication status on root domain. Go back to SRT22 hyphen DC01. Open Active Directory Sites and Services. Click on Sites and select Refresh. Expand Surat root. expand servers expand server name and click on ntds settings right click on ntds settings all task and check replication topology click okay 
right click and select refresh right click on automatically generated replication link and select replicate now again we get the same message ADDS will attempt to replicate across these connections so we can confirm that both domain controllers can replicate with each other successfully click ok let's go back to windows powershell type command wrap admin slash repl summary and press enter key to see the replication summary as we can see there were no errors during the replication we can run the same command on our tdc01 server as well go back to our mumbai domain controller go back to windows powershell and type command wrap admin slash repl summary and hit enter key just like dc01 we don't have any error on tdc01 as well so root domain and tree domain are successfully replicating with each other in our case active directory replication will be faster because both domain controllers are in a test environment go back to server manager dashboard click on tools and select dns to open dns manager expand server name and expand forward lookup zones notice that currently we have only one ad integrated dns zone named mytestlab.com once the replication process completes between tree domain and root domain we will have another ad integrated dns zone click on tools and select dns expand server name and then expand for lookup zones let me maximize it notice the forest dns zone name which is same as our forest root name the zone name is underscore msdcs.msftwebcast.com this is forest dns zone and under domain dns zone we can see the name of our tree domain which is mytestlab.com so we have updated dns information in our tree domain in the last step we want to check the active directory trust relationship between both domains go back to server manager click on tools and select active directory domains and trust right click on mytestlab.com and select properties go to trust tab we can see incoming and outgoing tree root transitive trust with msftwebcast.com domain click okay right click on msftwebcast.com and select properties go to trust tab we can also see incoming and outgoing tree root transitive trust with mytestlab.com act to directory domain the tree root trust will be created automatically between root domain and tree domain this completes the successful deployment of new tree domain in existing act to directory forest that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.